Hi guys, Zechi here with two improvements that I made to the Hypercube Infinite printer. The first is fitting this Noctua fan and the other one is insulation underneath the heat bed. I had some foam board left over from an aeroplane project. So this is the first, first thing I did. I cut out a piece of foam board that was the size of the glass that I'm using for my print bed. The wires that are soldered onto the heat bed is quite thick so I made a little gap in the foam board so that the wires can go into the position and also where the actual soldering is. So that's what I'm cutting out over here. I needed a way to keep the board from moving backwards uh, when the belt moves over it. So I used this off-cut piece of foam board and stuck it onto the insulating board. And that will then push up against the aluminium supports that hold the, the bolt bed in place. Here you can see where the wires are located in the section that I cut out of the foam board. Initially I just stuck it down with some Kapton tape but later I put super glue between the glass and the foam board. So once I had the insulation in place I just slid the glass with the heat bed and the insulating foam board back underneath the belt. I had to undo the screws that hold the rollers in position to get the glass in there and then reposition the aluminium um, extrusions that support the, the heat bed and then tension everything back up again. The next improvement I made was to install a Noctua fan but because it's a 40 millimeter fan I had to print this 30 to 40 millimeter fan adapter. First I got rid of the old fan. I reused the plastic that clamps around the uh, cooling fins. So here's the fan that I'm now using. It comes with all kinds of adapters and screws and clamps. For this application I just used M3 nuts and bolts to screw it onto the adapter that I've printed. It then just clips back onto the cooling fins, connect the wires and off we go. I'm really impressed with this fan, it is super quiet and I haven't had any problems with it. I did have a problem with the heated bed though. The glass pane that I was using as the print surface cracked at about 80 degrees so I put back the mirror that I was initially using. It's a bit smaller but it's quite a bit thicker and it can handle the heat quite well. I went up to 100 degrees and it didn't crack or anything. I haven't actually printed with it at that temperature but I'll probably test that soon. I want to try and print some nylon. The other thing that I did was to set up a Facebook page. Um, so if you look for Zechi's 3D printing on Facebook, you can follow some discussions there. And you can see that Ithan already made a printer like this. So Ithan put, posted some, pic, some videos and pictures of his Hypercube Infinite 3D printer. So please go have a look and thanks for the support. Hope you have a great day.